Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the first batch of extra weapons for the Burning Liger and the Xenorex. So far I've got the cannon and laser and the missile and laser combat units and the new core drive unit, the ignition booster, so we'll take a look at those and also how the impact gatling works on the Xenorex. Lots to check out, so let's get to it. Shop. All right, here's what we've got so far. First off, there's the uh, cannon and laser combat unit and the missile and laser combat unit. So it's about 50 and 49 respectively, which um, are customized weapon units, which means they're not that interesting because they don't actually do anything. And uh, the real star of the show, I'm sure, is the uh, core drive weapon ignition booster. But let's take a look at these guys first. We're not going to do an unboxing because I've got three of these and it's not that interesting. But I do want to take a quick look at the boxes, which incidentally, uh, before we look at the back, if you check them out side by side like this, you can actually see that these two units, despite one being Republic and one being Empire, uh, they have more or less the same parts in them. The only difference is that the uh, burning liger or the i mean the cannon laser combat unit i should say comes with these two big cannons that look sort of like the republic cannons for the gojolus whereas the uh, missile and laser combat unit comes with uh these two missiles and that's it all the other parts are the same you've got this big one here with the single cannon you've got this weird rambo knife here uh, this cannon these two boosters that go on the heels these two smaller cannons connecting pieces and uh, these two whatever they are probably for mounting stuff otherwise the same thing in both of these boxes now on the back here you can see uh, this mounted to the uh, burning liger of course because it's empire you can see you can put these on the side here i still don't know what this is oh, actually wait the flat thing here is the mounting piece for the knife and for the gun and uh, you can see the idea with the knife is that the burning liger holds it between its teeth um, you can also see that you can mount the uh, this and the drill on the uh, on the impact gatling, which is pretty cool. Um, and of course, you know they also go on other Zoids Wild models because uh, I mean these all have uniform peg sizes, so I'm sure it's all compatible. Now the um, missile and laser combat unit um, again is for the uh, Xenorex and you can see here the drill mounted on the arm or these cannons mounted on the arm the missile launcher goes on the back uh, this uh, doesn't seem to have any use actually I mean if you put it on the back it will just shoot him in the neck <laughs> here uh, same idea with the extension for the impact gatling and uh, also the Phantos and the Grises with these parts added to it now, the core drive weapon ignition booster is depicted here as going on the burning Liger, but also fits the Xenorex. Um, the picture here would seem to indicate that these open and close and they move in and out and back and forth. I'm really curious to see what that actually looks like in action. On the back here, we have, uh, yeah, this uh, picture of it with uh, these flaps, hatches, whatever closed and open and basically how you attach it uh the usual stuff on the side really so uh let's end this uh not an unboxing at this point uh, i'm gonna get this stuff out of the boxes put it together and then we're gonna see what it does all right so let's start with my favorite which is this setup with the missiles the rear mounted missile launcher is just about the right size and i like that it sits so low on the zoids back as well because it adds bulk and complements the overall shape not a fan of the guns that go on the arms, they're okay looking, but definitely too big for how they're placed. Another problem is that the missiles just don't look good up close. There's just lots of holes and gaps everywhere, like on most Zoids Wild's weapons, and it doesn't clutter them up in a good way. I'm also not a fan of these boosters. They just don't make sense shape-wise, and they sit on this ball joint that lets you flip them around, but why would you do that? I don't know. The big box on the back is a cockpit, by the way, so you can put another pilot in there to serve as the gunner. The set doesn't come with one, though, so I'm not sure if the idea is that you leave the main cockpit empty when you do this. Now, here's the setup with the drill. The big plate piece serves as a shield here, which is pretty cool. 
That's also the only thing I like about this though. The drill is, it just looks silly, I'm sorry. What's he going to do, fix a cavity on the Zero Crisis? Also, the knife looks like a nice extension to the tail until you look at it up close. It sits really far away from the tail and there's no way to mount it on the top without modifying it. Cool idea in theory, but nope, doesn't work for me. Here's the burning lager with the cannons. Also not a bad overall design. They sit on the hind legs so they're not too high on the Zoid and the front cannons look pretty decent here. Unfortunately, the big Gojolus cannons are also a big disappointment up close. Look at these gaps. I really wish I'd made these two halves you sandwiched together. I could deal with a seam line, but the amount of puttying you'd have to do to make this look presentable just makes my head spin. The knife comes with a sheath that opens and closes and lets you store it either with the blade or the handle sticking out. It's a pretty neat design and it also locks in place very securely. Here's the burning liger with the knife in its mouth. I, um, I like that gun, I really do, but the rest of this just looks pretty awkward. As you can see, the shield is the mount for the weapons here and it's just flat and bland and nondescript looking. The knife in the mouth looks kind of neat from this angle though. I just didn't know Artorias had a cap. Now, here's the ignition booster on the Xenorex, and I have to say I'm kind of pleasantly surprised by how well it works. It adds some nice bulk to the Zoid, but if you look at it from the side like here, it's really not that overpowering. I do think it's maybe a bit too big for the Burning Liger though. Still looks okay, but there's that, and also the fact that the Burning Liger already has this kind of rectangular appearance because of what the main looks like, and the ignition booster kind of emphasizes that. Right, let's see it in motion. As you can see here, pretty much everything on this thing moves. The hatches open and close, the boosters swing outwards, and that uh, thing on the front also moves in and out for some reason. Not sure what that's supposed to be, but it does add to the overall effect. Ditto on the Burning Liger, of course. Looking good. And finally, because I can and because I have to, here's the Xenorex with the Impact Gatling. I also attached that extension piece, but I don't really see why you would. It still rotates like a Gatling would, so it doesn't make much sense. But you'll be pleased to hear that it works perfectly and snaps into place just as well as on the Burning Liger. And that's it for this roundup of extra weapons. I'm going to say I'm pretty lukewarm about the two combat units. There's some good stuff there, especially the missile launcher for the Xenorex, and I think it's worth mentioning that the molding quality on these is infinitely better than the CP units back in the NJR line. Plus, the collars actually work for the Zoids they're meant for. But then there's also the numerous gaps everywhere, ruining the appearance of a lot of the weapons, and just a lot of basically useless stuff. I think there's ways to use them that look alright if you have fun with the sort of thing, but they aren't exactly essential. The ignition booster though is definitely great, from the ingenious construction to its overall appearance and the way it moves. There's lots more of these core drive weapons coming out and I'm definitely excited for them. Well, and that's it for this one, folks. Sorry this video was a little late, but life kind of got in the way these last few weeks. I've already got the Scissors Center X on the way, so that's probably next, and then we'll see. If you'd like to support this channel, give this video a like, subscribe, and check out the Patreon and PayPal links in the description. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.